Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy, and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, we are going to be setting up my fitness planner for the week of November the 6th. So we are still using the Happy Planner dashboard layout, which I plan to use at least through the end of November, possibly through the end of the year, but I do like to change my mind a lot. So we'll see on that. Um, if there are any other layouts that you would like me to try, and if I have them available, I will try them. Just let me know down in the comments, because I think this is a fun little experiment. So for today, I am going to utilize two sticker books from Live Love Posh. I am going to utilize Floral Fitness. Um, I will have this particular book linked down in the description as well as my affiliate link and Whimsical Fall, which unfortunately is not available on her website, but she does have other cute fall and seasonal sticker books. So definitely check it out. Again, all of that information will be down in my description box. All right. So I'm going to use this set. And the reason why is because I have, I have a whole nother floral fitness sticker book, but I don't want to go into it, but I might because I'll have used all of the girls <laughs> that was in this set. So I felt like some of these colors work really well with that. Obviously like the maroons and the pinks are pretty much those colors. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to use that. So that way I'm getting a little seasonal in my book, which I, I mean, in my book and my planner, which I've been pretty seasonal. But I'm also adding in some of my fitness stickers again. I mean, if I have two of these books, I need to use them, right? All right. So let's see. So I have my tracker. This is my Apple Stats tracker that I'm currently using for the dashboard just because I don't have enough room over here to do my individual trackers. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, like I said, I think I mentioned this last week, I am liking the functionality of this particular layout. It's definitely fun in addition to being functional. <laughs> and I actually enjoy utilizing this because it is forcing me to, act to plan out some of my workouts instead of just tracking my workouts. You know how I always used to say, yeah, my planner is not really a planner. It's more of a tracker. It's actually more, it's becoming a planner. Who would have thought, guys? Who would have thought? All right, this is already looking cute. All you need is a few stickers on the page, and you pretty much can be done. And my hair is everywhere, and it's annoying me. Okay, so let's put this up there. That way I'm covering up the focus on but I'm not really covering up this little design. So yeah, for, you know, I am filming this obviously cause I release these videos a week in advance. Um, cause I do like to decorate my planners <laughs> the week before if I can, although some of them, man, I've been like literally decorating the week of. Ooh, I always do that. I don't know why there's like grid lines. And for some reason it's just gonna have to say, I get so crooked right there. Did it last week too. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Lost my train of thought. I could just stop the video and replay it. <laughs> I wouldn't know what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to say. I just have to verbally say, I don't know what I was going to say. And then, you know, you miraculously remember it. I don't know how that always works out. But, um, <clears throat> So because I was coming back from vacation and I hadn't really been working out much before vacation and obviously I did tons of walking. I mean, I did like 15,000 steps, stuff like that while I was on vacation, but um, <clears throat> I decided to take it easy for the week prior to this <laughs> um, or the week that I'm currently filming this in because I wanted to kind of ease back into working out. I didn't want to go all gung-ho on it, but I think this week is when I'm going to start getting back into like weight training and stuff like that. Um, I do have a little bit of an advantage in the fact that I do have two holidays this coming week. So that does help me as far as, okay, I know I'm going to want to, <clears throat> I know I'm going to have time to actually work out. Um, 
course, sometimes that isn't the issue. Time isn't the issue. Laziness becomes the issue. So <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. I'm going to do this so that way I'm not like, I don't really have to find, um, I was hanging off the top of the page. I don't have to find like washi or anything to hang it from. All right. So last week I utilized this area for my actual like task or like what I plan to do as far as um, weekly workouts. So I think I'm gonna do that again. It's just, it has the lines. I don't have to worry. Like you can see right now, like it's so much easier ooh, to cover up if I like pay attention before I put it down, but it's so much easier to cover up the circles because I'm just covering up the circles versus covering up the boxes and the lines. Oh, that did rip the page a little bit, but that's okay. So I'll just put it right over it again. I want this coming off the page. That's the problem. Do something like that. All right. And then let's cut this in half. Then I can do that there, and that there. And I need another little one right there to kind of, that might hide how crooked it is. <laughs> If I hide the line, you won't see how crooked it is. I hope not. All right. Okay. So, I might have to pull Mojo Jojo's Jewel Tone boxes, which I have plenty of these boxes, so we should be good here. All right. Let's do some of the greens. So let's do one of the line boxes. We are gonna do I need my white out. Haha, -ha, I actually have it on my desk. That is like <laughs> surprising. It's usually in the floor because I knock stuff off my desk all the time and then I just don't pick it up. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna be my like goals slash focus areas for the week. Or maybe those would be my focus areas. All right, let's see if we have any maroon. Yes, we do. Then I'll use these. Whoops. Cover that one up. It's not that far off. We'll still use this. Okay. We're gonna put, I think I'm gonna cut off. Hmm. It's the blue. The blue is like really getting me. If I do this, then we're pretty much done with this side. And then maybe I can put that right there. There we go. That's how I'm getting rid of the blue wheat. I don't know that it will, but it's 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 gonna be near the um the rings or the discs. So all right. So that'll help camouflage the dark blue. I'm gonna deal with that color blue because it's there, but it was just bothering me just a tad. Okay, so we do have step. I 
a little step thing here. So I'll just do that here. Probably shouldn't have put that down yet. Meal prep is one of my goals. <gasps> and then workout is the other goal. There we go, y'all. Bringing in the blue that I was trying so desperately to hide. <laughs> All right, now we can go back here and start adding some more decor. I'm gonna bring in some bullet points or something like that at some point. But we gotta bring in some decor on the other side. This is a two page spread. Sometimes I get caught up over here cause it's a lot more fun to decorate over there because It's just, you know, there's just so much more room. Okay, let me um, tear this page out and make my life a little bit easier. I think what I'm gonna do, I think we're gonna do something like that. So I'm gonna cut off that. Just easier because I'm carrying it over the two pages. So cut it off before All right, and then I was like, where's my other sticker, guys? It was stuck to my scissors. And now another sticker is stuck to the back of that sticker. Put that one here. And then I think this one, I, I like it curved around the 20, 23. So we're gonna cut that and I'll go ahead and cut my page. Guess I'm gonna have to put a label over there now. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was gonna have to or not. All right, then I have this. I'll just put this one here. Because this weekend is a three-day weekend for me, this coming weekend, um, the weekend of the 10th, I may, I may, um, well, it, it's probably more likely than may, but what I am thinking about doing is getting all of my Christmas decorations out of my outdoor shed like my tree and stuff and definitely like putting up my tree because I love to put up my Christmas tree. It's just a lot of work to put up my Christmas tree because it's, it's, you know, I got it like heavily discounted and when I got it heavily discounted, I didn't realize how big it was. <laughs> so it's a ginormous tree, um, but I love it. Um, I've had it like ever since I got my house and because I like put it in my shed and I stuff it in a tree bag, all of like the pre-lit lights are now off. So I have to like actually string lights on there. But I feel like, you know, it's so much work putting up the tree and stuff like that. I kind of like to do it early enough where I can get like two full months out of it. So that's why I think I'm gonna do it because what I usually do is I'll, I'll keep everything up. Although last year I did take everything down on New Year's, but I might keep everything up until you know, like the second week of January or something like that. I mean, of course, it's going to all come down to, you know, what I want to do as far as decorating. Because I love my fall decors in my house, but I'm kind of ready to put up the tree and stuff. So, with that said, why was I seeing that in the fitness planner? Because I was, like, looking at, like, how much room I have. And I'm like, if I do that on Saturday and Sunday, that's probably going to be my workout. Because it is a workout. <laughs> I have to lug the tree by myself. Fortunately, I have divided it into two tree bags, but I have to lug it from my shed <laughs> to literally the far end of my house. Like the shed is on one end of the, my yard and I have a pretty like long and near, narrow yard. So it's on one end of my yard and um, the door I need to go in <laughs> for the tree is at the far end of the house. So it's not like crazy far, but it's far when you're lifting something heavy. So if I do that, then 
that will be my workout and I really won't need that. What I might do is just put some of my like stats in there. So like if my heart rate went crazy, cause what I need to remember is when I do stuff like that, um, I probably should remember to hit my start buddy button as like a workout because it is a workout. Like literally my heart rate will get just as high as if I was doing some like intense cardio. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So needless to say, I won't really need that room. I just might use that room to mark it as a workout. Say how much, like what my high heart rate was or something like that. All right, guys. Last sticker. Obviously, as you can tell, I don't like spend that much time trying to balance out my spreads. Like a lot of people um, <laughs> make it a point to balance out the colors on the spread. Obviously, if you look at mine, <laughs> I do think I need to put some workout stickers over here because they're all over here. But um, I don't really try to balance it. I just try to put a sticker wherever I see empty space and see if it looks cute. I do want that here. That's going to leave me a lot. Watch, I say that now and then you're going to come back and I'm going to be talking all about balancing it out. And <laughs> I'm really like, Tracy, I thought you didn't balance out your spreads. That was just too much for me. <laughs> Sometimes just finding the pl a place to put an actual sticker is enough thought. I don't want to have to think about like balancing out the colors on both sides of the page or anything like that. All right, what stickers do I have on this side? I think they're big stickers. Maybe something like that. I'm trying to do that, but I definitely, I, I wanna make sure the quote isn't gonna be like halfway cut off. So I'm trying to like judge it. <laughs> right here. All right, y'all. I kind of balanced, look, I put a fitness sticker and then we have water. Should I do a water bottle somewhere? I feel like I have to put a water bottle somewhere, right? I don't really think it fits. I think everything else can, can kind of go. I think the water bottle is just a little much. Okay, functionality. All right, green, it needs a green box. Not enough green. Like I technically could do, I'm gonna tell y'all I was end up pulling the sticker up. I know myself too well, but I kinda wanna bring some more color over here. So what I'm gonna do, and then find the scrap on my dirty scissors. There we go. Okay, now, I don't think there's any, ooh, habit trackers. They have like little checklists, but the colors aren't really all the colors that I want. Let me, I don't know. Let me try to find some dots or something or checklists that I can use here. So the only thing I saw were these. And I guess that color is kind of close, but nothing else is. I could probably do that one too, because that one kind of brings in those. So we're gonna put a few on the page and see if I like it. Well, I think it looks okay. <laughs> Remember I said I'm not all about balance, so <laughs> that is my thing. Does it just look okay? Yeah, I I'm good, I'm good with it. This is. It's a functional spread that I use a lot of stickers on to make it look cute. 
<laughs> as long as I think it looks cute, I'm good. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I don't know if I need all of these dots though. All right, guys, I like it. I like the way it turned out. Let me grab my ink pen. Okay, so like I said, my steps are going there. Pretty much nothing is gonna get filled out on this page. I do need to go ahead and punch. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna meal prep on the weekdays. I'm gonna work out at least three times. Okay, and my focus is gonna be on balanced nutrition. I should have like a focus box or something somewhere. I did move my vitamins a little bit over because it looked weird with only like the three dots and I didn't want to move them. <laughs> so I did bring this on because that is kind of like, um, that is once I am going to write supplements. So I focus on balanced nutrition, supplements, and stretching. Okay. Now, we're going to call this the plan. <laughs> the plan. Okay. So, I want to do strength train legs strength upper strength whole body All right. I am still easing back into it those are probably going to be like 20 minute 20 minute and that will probably be maybe 30 to 45 minutes um but I'll just go lighter on the actual weights if I need to um because you know you don't want to go too hard because even taking like a week or two off you like literally need to like work yourself back up again all right so I do want to do at least one yoga class or we'll work out I want to do some low intensity interval training we'll say two times I want to do Pilates. And then I'll leave the other one blank because I don't really want to add anything down. Um, I mean, I'll probably do a bar workout or something like that, but I don't, these are things that I haven't been doing very good at. So like I want to start incorporating Pilates back in my workouts because I love it and it's definitely a good core strength. Um, yoga because I need it. And then like I said, I'm going to add in this. Now, when it comes to this, this like cardio, I'll be doing in tandem with something else. So probably with my strength training days, that's probably when I'm gonna bust out the cardio. As you can see, I didn't get specific with like no sugar, no anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of play that by ear. Um, I try, I've been trying that this week. And you know, then I go eat out with friends and stuff and I'm not being horrible, I'm being okay. Um, I need to be a lot better, but I, you know, I just, I don't want to go strict to like no sugar. So I'm just trying to like, if I meal plan, if I meal prep, let's say that, not necessarily plan because I can plan my meals all day, but if I meal prep, I find that I usually do eat better anyway. So there we go. All right, guys, let me hide my dirty scissors. Let me put them in front, like somewhere where I can see them so I will clean them, but off of camera. <laughs> All right, guys, so there we have it. That is my workout fitness planning spread for the week of November the 6th. Again, I pulled box stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans. These bullet points came from the paper studio. I'm not sure which um, actual um, book it came from, but that's the Hobby Lobby sticker book. 
And then these two sticker books from Live Love Posh. I will have this one linked down below. This one is no longer available, um, but she does still have Chic Fall as well as some other fall and her winter book. So um, yeah, definitely check that out. I would appreciate it if you would consider using any of my affiliate links because it doesn't impact you at all. The website and everything still looks the same. It just helps me and my channel. I get a tiny, tiny commission for any um, sales that I make. And then I also get credit for any time that you actually click on the website. So I would appreciate it if you would consider using that link. Um, and then I do have a discount code, which I will also have in that description. All right, guys. So that is all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. That is all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.